What's going on everybody? Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. And on this week's lesson, we're going to check out some of my favorite Lamb of God riffs because they write some of the best riffs in metal and I wanted to share with you some of my favorites. So let's jump right into it, all right? So I'm going to drop D tuning half a step down, right? So drop D flat. Some of the Lamb of God riffs are in a drop D. Some of them are in this drop D half step down. So before we jump in, down in the description below, you can find the links for the tabs. And while you're down there, please click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss anything. So let's jump right in. This is probably my favorite Lamb of God song, and that's For Your Malice. <laughs> That is just mean. I love it. You know, the chords in the beginning, you had me at chords, you will always have me at chords. All right, so let's talk about it a little bit. We have the opening chord 12, 12, 10, 10, starting on our fifth string. And that chord's gonna move down to nine, so it's 12, 12, 9, 9. And then you're gonna play this C major shape on starting on the 13th fret of your fifth string, which is essentially B flat. And they call it a C shape. If you're familiar with the cage, it's just this chord moved up. All right? So that's our little chug pattern after you have the four hits. Okay? And you kind of do that between all the chords. And then we have a little tremolo. It's not really tremolo, but just super fast alternate picking here. A nice little chromatic line. I believe it's in 7 8. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's 5 6 3 4. <laughs> Like that. All right? And Lamb of God tends to pick up that right hand, pick up the palm mute, and let those notes just ring out. Right? And then you get this really nice, angry, down picking verse riff, right? So you have a couple opens. Three, um, six and three. Back up to six. And then five, three, three, five. Right? And then the only thing that's going to change as that goes on is the first two open notes are going to switch to one on your fifth string. Okay? Now there's a couple things I want to point out about this riff that'll kind of, you'll see in all of these riffs, all right? One of the things that Lamb of God does a lot in their riff writing, since so we are in a drop D tuning, but they mix in that kind of blues wannabe sound, that 0356. You'll see that a lot, right? Metallica does that too. And then same riff, on that verse riff, when you step up to the one, Right, that it's your, your harmony is essentially going open D to that 8th fret right there. And you'll hear that a lot in the Lamb of God riffs. And you hear that a lot in drop D riffs in general. All right, so let's move on to the next riff. And staying on that same album, 11th Hour. <laughs> I mean, that is just angry, down-picking metal. It, it's fantastic. And, you know, what I really like about this riff, this tends to be one of the more Slayer-inspired riffs, right? If you go way back in the machine, you play some of those old Slayer riffs, they have some of this kind of diagonal movement going on. 
So this riff again, we're in the drop D tuning and you're up in 12th position and it's 12 on the A string, 13, 12 on the low string. And then you're gonna kind of invert that. You have 13, 12 on the A, 13 on the low string. And then your chug pattern, like that. And then you have this chromatic movement down. And then you have this little fill. It's eight, seven, six on your A string, nine, eight, seven on your low string. And then it's five on the A, six, five on the D. And then six, five, and they put power chords there. Right? That, and then you have a nice heavy down picking. Make sure to down pick this, really bring that energy through, right? And you're just basically chugging on opens, pulling off from one, going the one to four. And then you're bringing back this little fill. Right? And then you just have this little transition riff, three and four. And then power chord fill. Five, seven, seven, eight. All right, so we're gonna move on to the next riff, and that's laid to rest. Those pinch harmonics are just fantastic. So I really like this riff for a couple of reasons. One, you're gonna mix in that pentatonic bluesy thing that we talked about a couple minutes ago, that 035. You're gonna mix that in with a Phrygian dominant sound. Ooh, big scary musical term there, right? It's basically just harmonic minor. But if D is our root, right? It's five, six, next string, four. Kind of get that vibe. And essentially, it's a dominant chord with a flat two. Half step above the root, right? Right, so you're mixing modes here, and that's kind of cool, because we start out with some open string chugs, and it's six, five, three, and then three on the D. And notice the three on the D, that's a minor chord. And the Phrygian dominant gives it a major sound, right? So it's like that. And then we're gonna have a nice little string of notes on our low string. Eight, five, four. Up to seventh position. Seven, eight, seven, ten, seven, eight. Now we're gonna switch to the Phrygian dominant. Like that. So you have the little trill on four and five. And grabbing that flat two there. Eight, seven, five, trill, flat two. And then you just have a essentially a scale sequence down. The tails will be going across the screen. It'll save me time from explaining it. Like so. All right. So the next riff probably has to be one of the meanest intro riffs I've ever heard, right? And that is pathetic. Right? 
right? It goes into the verse there. It's actually doubled in the song, but, you know, my copyright and brevity, let's just get through it, right? But that is an angry, bendy, finger twisty riff, and it's fantastic, right? So you start off with this, that little chug pattern, and then you're gonna bend 17, and it's 15, 12, 15, 13. Nice and slow for you. And then here, we're gonna go 03, 2, 2, 1. And we're gonna see that again, but we're gonna see it up here an octave higher, right? So you come out of that 15, 12, 03, 2, 2, 1. And then we're going to repeat the first one, we land on the 13, and then you have a fill, 7, 8, 2. And then a couple of slides down, 8 to 2, 7 to 1. Like that. So that's the first half of the riff, and then at second half, you're going to, instead of landing on the 13, you're going to land on 14. And right there, we get that low notes up an octave. 15, 12, O, 15, 14, 13. That's the same thing as going. Same notes, just an octave higher. Then you have that same fill. Right, and then the end of it, you kind of get out of it with a real nice ugly bend on the first fret. But, and then I would implore you, encourage you to check out the rest of that song because the verse riff is nasty. It's just good metal fun. So that's gonna bring us to our last riff of the video. This is probably the hardest riff out of all of them to play. It's really up-tempo, and there's a lot of alternate picking going on, and there's some finger-twisty stuff going on, which is also really cool, especially in that opening riff, right? So the opening riff is like this. Really cool riff, and it doesn't sound that good slow, but up to tempo it sounds really good. But like I said, you have to have your, your right hand alternate picking going on, right? So it's 010. <laughs> 1-0, one, oh, one. so you kind of reverse those notes, like that, and then you're going to move up and play this little chromatic, like 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, oh, 1, and then the riff starts over. Then you have a fill, 16th notes, two beats on the low string three two beats of 16th notes on your A string three. Right? And here, again, this is where Lamb of God's gonna, they're gonna pull off that palm mute and those really open, really open it up. Second time around, you hang on that. verse riff there and it's really fun to play because again we're going to tie it into what we talked about before right so we, we've we're mixing in that that bluesy kind of <laughs> vibe that oh three five six notes right <clears throat> you're going to get that bluesy tone so you have this <laughs> and lemma god likes to do the <laughs> the little blip, little 30 second notes thrown in there rather than going <laughs> Just straight 16th notes, we have on the first beat and the third beat, like that. Now, if you're strictly alternate picking this, it might feel a little weird because that those extra notes, those 30 seconds, are gonna flip your picking up, up, up to the up, up stroke. Right there, so the second time you do it, you're starting on an up stroke, and it might feel really awkward, but it'll help Keep it flow through the whole thing. And then you have this. 
kind of syncopated accent in there where all of those notes are on the upbeat. O three, O three, five, six, five, three, five, three. Right? If this was the 70s and you slow this down, that's a classic rock riff. Right? And then you have this really nasty fill that goes on. So it's five in the A, eight, seven, five, eight on the A, ten, eight, seven. Then it's five, three on your A, six, five, three, six, three, five. Right? Like that. And then I didn't play it before, but what this goes into is even nastier because you have the verse continues and you have this riff. Really fun chorus riff, but I really like that pre-chorus riff, or whatever you want to call it. It's three O and then four twos. And you just climb up two, three, five. And then on the repeat of that, you have this nasty little, again, it reminds me of Slayer, where it's two, three, five, open, five, three, two, open, two, three, five, six. Like that. And I really like that, you know, because you're really focusing on that second fret. And this is a la Metallica, right? So your verse riff is going on, and then you step up a whole step, and it creates a tension that goes on, and then it releases back to the open chorus, which is all based around the D again. Okay? So there you guys go. Some of my favorite Lamb of God riffs. What are some of your favorite Lamb of God riffs? Tell me down in the description below because they're tons of fun to play and they really help your right hand with a whole lot of metal technique. All right? So, as I said, down in the description below, you can find a link to the tab, more inside access to the channel. Please click that subscribe button and as always, let me know what you come up with. So, until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.